All right, boys and girls, how's it going? It's a bit of a late one. I was going to do a video video earlier today, but I got very annoyed. A bit shouty at you two, actually. Because I'm quite surprised. Even now, after all this time of looking at Flat Earth videos, how bloody stupid can people be? This is a completely impromptu video. I wasn't going to do one. I just set it off to record and here we go. First one I came across today was this one. Now, it was on Jerenism's page, but I think it came from deep inside the rabbit hole, first of all. And it's a 102-year-old lady in a nursing home and they'd gone along and this bloke started spouting flat earth nonsense at her. And she's saying about, oh, well, we were taught this when we were in school. Yeah, of course she was taught that when she was in school. She's from Connecticut. She went to school in the 1920s when they probably were teaching as scientific fact that the earth was 6,000 years old, that every single remaining animal on the planet was housed on a giant boat that floated round for God knows how long. You know, all that bloody superstitious medieval nonsense that they were spouting um and then i came across this one now this one is looking at what are they're called sprites and it's a meteorological phenomena that happens during thunderstorms it happens many 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 miles above the top of a thunderstorm or a lightning storm um you up to about 60 miles above and it's something to do with lightning discharges um it's probably some sort of plasma i don't think meteorologists know exactly what they are but they are a catalog phenomena this video claims the proof of the firmament unbelievable we are dealing genuinely dealing with medievalism lots of people are regressing they really are um and then I came across across this one from uh, deep inside the rabbit hole himself. Um, how to jump off the flat earth. I really wish he would. I genuinely wish he would. Um, unfortunately, there isn't a flat earth for him to jump off. And all this video is, is uh, just kind of a montage of, um, of the land shelf at Antarctica. But you just want to go through some of the comments on it they are unbelievable i can't I, I honestly don't believe that the number of people who say that they believe it actually do they they can't either that or they've never been to school they've never been to school they've never been outside they've never looked up they've never received any kind of formal education they can't possibly have to believe this nonsense they can't possibly have been educated to any even remedial level they can't and then the other night i was on the shills um sort of hangout um they do a couple of hangouts a week friday and saturday if you haven't seen the shills hangouts on a friday and saturday go along take a look great fun um i was on it a couple of weeks ago um always have great guests always have a laugh Take a look at some of the nonsense videos that are going around. Comment on them. Take a piss off them. It's great fun. Runs for about an hour and a half, two hours. Enormous amounts of fun. But into the comment thread the other night came this bloke um, called Flat Earth Aussie Jesus. Now, you always get bloody nonsense people popping up. You know, we always the old Flat Earth that tries to come in and make comments. This bloke, honestly, I mean, for a start off, he looks like somebody who should be at the bus shelter shouting at buses or, you know, throwing sticks at crows in the park um, while he hugs his three litre flag and a white cider. But not only does he come on with the old flat earth nonsense, he's also a Holocaust denier. How can people deny that? I mean, all right, I can understand some people if they are, you know, mentally ill, might think in, might think that the, the Earth is flat if they've never actually looked into it themselves, and if they're suffering from some serious measure of retardation. 
But when there are still people alive who were held at the internment camps, um, estimated up to about 15 million people, and not only not only Jews, there were the disabled, homosexuals, people who were called political dissenters, which, as far as the Nazis were concerned, was just anybody who wasn't a Nazi. Surprises me these people exist. Surprises me that they're allowed to voice their opinions. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for freedom of speech. But there's a difference between freedom of speech and hate speech. And I think that Holocaust denial is hate speech. Now, when it comes to flat earth, should people be allowed to voice their opinions on flat earth? Yeah, they absolutely should be allowed. Because if you allow people to speak against flat earth, you have to be allowed to let people speak for flat earth. But people should do their own research. I know a lot of these people, these flat earth say, oh, do your research. Their idea of research is watching other people's YouTube flat earth videos. That's their idea of research. And they can't get their head around the, what is quite simple physics, to be perfectly honest with you. Ah, but I just thought I'd have a, a soft rant before I disappear off to bed. I probably won't go to bed yet. I don't go to bed late. I don't even know what the bed, what time is. Alexa, what's the time? It's 12.10am. Oh, there we go then. 12.10am. I've got another two hours to go yet. Might be in a few episodes of Family Guy. Maybe another episode of Cobra. If you haven't seen that, go and watch it. It's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, exciting things are afoot. Um, collaboration coming up with uh, Steaming Cup of Reason. When we get that sorted out, unfortunately, there's a seven hour time difference between us, which makes sort of, uh, you know, live communication a bit difficult, but we'll get that together. More information on that in the uh, coming weeks, no doubt. Um, I'll have another video out in a couple of days, possibly by the end of the week. Um, again, I don't know what's going to be on yet. Probably one of these idiots that I've been watching today. Anyway, until next time, have a good evening, a good day, a good afternoon, a good morning, whatever time it is where you are, whatever time it is you're watching this. Take care of each other, be nice to each other. I'll catch you next time. Au revoir.